What's going on, guys? Welcome to a Project Reality map tier list video. I know it's the video you've all been waiting for. You want to know exactly which maps are the best maps in Project Reality. You want them ranked by a guy who's played the game since the dawn of time. Well, look no further. That is exactly what I'm going to do for you today. I have made this tier list out of the kindness of my heart. Blood, sweat, and tears went into getting these screenshots. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it's done. It's been done, and now I'm going to rate. Uh, I'm going to rank all of these maps. Now the thing is, I haven't put insurgency maps on here, but every single AES map is on here. I feel like it's unfair to rank insurgency against AES because obviously all the insurgency maps I would just put in the S tier. So to describe the tiers we got here, there's obviously S tier. Uh, then below that would probably still vote for it. Below that, it's okay, I guess. And then we've got Sarima, and then World War II maps. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Doesn't need to, too much explanation. Obviously, World War II maps are uh, dog trash, and S tier is top of the pile. S tier. Uh, so let's not uh, let's not delay any further. Let's get let's get doing maps. I think they're in alphabetical order. Um, I'm also going to have the PR map gallery open on uh, my other screen, which we'll flick to every now and then to remind people of what maps I'm talking about, or also to uh, remind myself of what maps we're we're talking about. Uh, in the description, by the way, I am prob will probably put a link to this tier list, I guess. You're welcome to do your own tier list. Let me know about it. Uh, I have a Discord. Feel free to jump on there and share your version of this tier list. I'd love to see it. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you hate every decision I've made. And I'll take the time to argue with you about why World War II maps are terrible and why they should be removed from the game. The fact that we had to lose some good maps to add World War II is criminal. Sorry, it's criminal. Also, there was a guy in the comments on one of my videos uh, who made the Burning Sands uh, map. Cool. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, Burning Sands is a great map. I'm glad you're in the comments. So let's go. Let's go. We're starting with ADAC. ADAC, for anyone who doesn't remember, is China versus US, I think. Um, I was searching how to spell... Uh, how to spell Sarima. Uh, ADAC, China versus US. Uh, not bad, honestly. Not a bad map. One of a, a newer addition to the game. Uh, I'm going to put it in, would probably still vote for it. It's not S tier, but it's a top tier map. I've had some good rounds on this map. You can get some really interesting gameplay around the um, this hangar area. Uh, it's an interesting idea. If you're, once you get to kind of this kind of area, it's pretty terrible. The fight up here is not great a lot of the time, um, but it's fun. I think it offers a lot of variety in, 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 in play styles on this map. So not bad, not bad at all. Definitely a good place to start. Assad Cal. Now, it's a skirmish map. It's a 1K skirmish map, but it's absolutely a classic. You really can't put this any lower than it's okay, I guess. Would I vote for it? Probably not because it's a 1K map, but it's a really good 1K map. If you were learning the game and you were playing like against bots or whatever, Assad Cal is a great place to learn the game. Uh, Ashberg. Ashberg Beta. Is it ever going to not be beta? Why, as a side thing, why do these maps have have beta attached to them. I don't understand. Like, I thought, it's in the game. Is it going to be a full release at some point? I don't get it. Like, it's been beta for forever. Ashberg, okay, not to be confused with the mental disability, is a really good map. One of the best. Uh, I'm not sure. I, think, I feel like it's a fairly recent addition to the game. It's a really good map. It's weird because... From space, it doesn't look like it should be a good map, um, but it's actually great. You have uh, a lot of... You'd look at this map and you think that if you're playing infantry on this map, it's terrible. Like, what could you possibly do? But actually, the infantry, cast, um, and armor, like, trio, and how they work together on this map is really fun. I've had some great rounds on this map. Uh, just either lazing for cast or fighting infantry in one of these towns. It gets a little, eh, once you're on these outskirts and you're just hiding in a line of bushes, but um, it's still, it's a top tier map. It's a top tier map. Um, I I almost, do I, am I going to put an S tier? Honestly, I'm going to put an S tier. Maybe we'll rearrange these at the end for now. It's definitely an S tier map. Uh, Grozny is a very good map. Honestly, is it S tier? <laughs> yeah, fuck okay, it, it's S tier. Uh, Grozny is an S tier map. Uh, Grozny is a great map. Again, a newer addition to the game. Uh, the just the destroyed war-torn city of Grozny is um, 
just fantastic. The whole play style in this central area is great. If you get the layout where you're out here, it's terrible. In fact, it's going down a tier. If you get this layout, it's the worst map in the game. <laughs> Maybe not the worst, but it's pretty not great if you're playing for this flag, this flag, this flag. Uh, but if you're playing for the middle flags or the flags down here, uh, a great map, great map. I've had a lot of great rounds on this map. Just pretty fantastic all round. Uh, if you're taking an APC, it might be quite difficult for you playing in the city with an APC is hard, but I think in terms of gameplay it provides for everyone, no matter what you want to do, really strong map. Assault on Mestia, um, I think it's a little above Serima. It's a 1k map, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Uh, again, it's a 1k kind of skirmish map. Um, there are some good points to it. This is It's got some annoying hills that are really hard to traverse. Uh, but it's okay, but you wouldn't play it with 100 players. Bamyan. Remind me, which one is Bamyan? Bamyan? Bamyan. Am I blind? Bamyan. Ah, uh, yes, Bamyan. Another relatively new addition uh, to the game. Pretty similar to... This feels almost like a replacement for that map that was Canadian versus Taliban that the name suddenly... It's like Operation, Operation Archer. Is that what it's called? Operation Archer? Yeah, that sounds right. Operation Archer was a map. Uh, Canadians versus Taliban. Uh, a great map that they removed for the game, probably to add a World War II map in. I know. Very sad. Uh, but this feels, this definitely has that kind of vibe. This is definitely better, in my opinion, on AAS than Insurgency. Um, but it's a good map. This is a good map. If you're taking tanks, you can have a good time. If you're taking infantry, you can have a good time. If you're sitting on a hill right here in Gulf 7 with a tow, you can have an absolutely sensational time. Um, it's quality stuff. Is it? S tier, it's not quite, but it is definitely worth a vote. Um, S tier, definitely not. I've definitely had some bad rounds on this. If, you're, if your team is pretty stacked, um, you can get crushed on this map. There are people drilling in the background, which is absolutely infuriating. So if you just see me randomly pause, that's why. Battle of Le Drang. This is a Vietnam map. Uh, Vietnam, where do I stand on Vietnam? I think Vietnam is better than World War II. Is it better than most of the base game maps? No, no, it's not. What do I... So Battle of Le Drang is probably one of the better um, Vietnam maps. The issue I have with it, I'll bring it up. Um, Le Drang, here we go. Uh, this map can be fun. I was playing this just the other day. There are elements of this map that can be fun. Um, it definitely gives you a kind of Vietnam-style vibe, but the issue with this Vietnam map and with all Vietnam maps is that the Vietnamese don't have any like Viet Cong technology, you know? Like you can't dig tunnels, you can't place like like traps in the jungle. There it feels like honestly it feels like on Vietnam maps the Vietnamese should get like a five, ten minute head start and they should be able to lay out traps and lay out like tunnels to like teleport across the map basically. But they don't get that. It's like US and the US have the choppers and everything and the Viet the, the Viet Cong are just, you know, they're just a, a reskin with some Viet Cong weapons. Uh, and it just doesn't quite give me the Viet, the, the Vietnam vibe that you, that you re are really looking for in a thing that's trying to dedicate itself to replicating Vietnam. Uh, so with that in mind, most of the Vietnam maps descend into, and because they're in, uh, always in a jungle or a forest or something, they descend into, you just sprint to a flag, you lie down in a bush, and you try and shoot as many people as possible before they grenade your bush. Which, honestly, I think is some of the worst gameplay in PR. And for that reason, it is going in the Serema category. But it is not as bad as World War II, and it's definitely one of the more playable um, maps. Vietnam maps, for sure. Um, by Root, it's an absolute classic. It's going to go straight in the S tier. I don't need to think about it. Um, Beirut is a quality top tier map. It's been around, in my opinion, since the dawn of time. Um, just a sensational map. Timeless. You can play this map over and over again um, and can still have a good time. There are various different layouts. If you get the layout over on this side of the map, you can have a good time. If you get the one down the middle, you can have a good time. If you get the one across this side, you can have a good time. 
It's good for infantry. It's good if you want to take an APC. You've even got choppers in there. I think there's even a tank on one layout. Is there a tank? I feel like. Okay, hang on. Standard. Yeah, there is a tank. Okay, there's even a tank on one layout. Um, so you've got it all, really. It's a really strong 2K map uh, and a great place to start if you're playing PR for, for the first time. Beirut is a great starter map as well. Bajar Canyons. Uh, honestly, is it even okay? Is it Serema level? It's not as bad as World War II. Is it okay? Nah, man. I think it's going to have to go in Serema. Bajar is an absolutely massive map with nothing on it. <laughs> if uh, if you're playing Bajar and you're you're down here and you're like an infantry guy down here, okay, maybe you could have a good time. Up here, your infantry, maybe you could have a good time. If you're down here, you're fighting over here, you're fighting here, here, it's just terrible. If you're up on this flag, it's the worst thing ever. If you're not in an asset, if you're not in a jet, a tack chopper, a tank, if you're just like some guy who's going around trying to cap the flags, you are having the worst time ever. Uh, it's not built for about half the players to actually play the game. Uh, and for that reason, Bajar is going in the Serema category. It's still playable, and I have had the occasional good round on this map, but for just the general day-to-day -day gameplay, it's not great. Black Gold uh, is similar to Bajar, but it definitely has stronger elements, and there's more opportunities for infantry and squad combat on Black Gold over Bajar. Um, Black Gold has this interesting kind of layout i feel that that going this layout this way is definitely better the well no but fighting in this fighting in this town is quite good um and even fighting out on these outskirts is quite good but this flag which often ends up being the contested flag you just hide in a in a basement on this um uh what is this thing called this like it's like a a water treatment facility or something, a dam, but it's not a dam. I don't know what it is. It's just got a big elevator shaft in it. And um, you just camp in the basement. It's within cap and you just lie there and you stare at a door for two hours. Um, but uh, you can have a good time on this map as infantry and you can make a super fob like up here or over here sometimes, get a tow up here. You can have a good time. And vehicles again, you can. It's a, it's a it's a decent vehicle map. Um, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, you know. It's okay. I don't hate it. It's definitely on the upper end of uh, it's okay. Breckort Assault. It's a World War Two map. Uh, Burning Sands. I mean, <laughs> I should talk about it. Breckort Assault. The World War Two map. It looks like this. It's uh, you start with way too many tickets. The map just grinds on and on forever. Taking this is a meat grinder in itself. Um, it's, just, it's just, it's not it. Sorry, it's just not it. It needs a, it needs a rework. They need to change how the tickets work. They need to make the M1 Grand not be a one-shot kill anywhere on the body. Um, they need, I don't know. I just think it needs a rethink. I think it needs a rethink. Burning Sands, it's an S tier map. Burning Sands, one of my favorite maps and probably one of the best maps in the game, if you ask me. Uh, a perfect blend of uh, infantry combat and vehicle combat. Uh, I think they could do more with this, the bottom left of the map. There's like nothing here and no reason to ever go here. Um, but at least the split down the, down the middle on the north side. So all of this airport, even this flag can all be fun. There's definitely fun to be had here. Uh, there's a good blend of tanks, APCs. You, you can get layers with uh, with jets. Um, there's something to do with your trans pilot. There's just, uh, it's a good mix. It's a really good mix. You can have a lot of good times on Burning Sands. And for that reason, it is S tier. Carantan, it's another World War II map. Carantan, I don't know the World War II maps as much because I literally leave the server every time they come on these days. Yeah, this map is flawed. Um, if you play this map and you're doing the layout where the, which layout is it? It's the alt standard. 
standard. If you're playing this map on the standard layout, where the Germans start with all the flags and the US have to push out and cap them, this flag is a meat grinder, complete meat grinder Armageddon. Um, it's crazy because the whole map, as I understand it, it should be that the US should win this map by capping all the flags, right? But what happens is the US don't even make it across this bridge. But because this flag is such a meat grinder, they kill enough Germans that they win by tickets, even though they've only capped one flag. And it feels like the map's completely broken when you can successfully hold this river as the Germans and lose. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, it's not a good map. Um, don't try and change my mind. It's not a good map. It's a World War II map. It's what it is. Charlie's point. This is a Vietnam map. Is it good? Uh, it's different. You know what it. You know what it is. It's different. This is a very different kind of map. You don't see very many maps like this, where one team essentially starts on an island and has to fly over, uh, with no spawn point on the land. Uh, it's an interesting idea. Sometimes you, as the US, you just get absolutely stomped. Um, you have boats to get you down through this, but they don't always. It's not always that successful. You have like a tank or yeah, you've got a few APC things and they don't feel particularly strong or useful. Um, but this feels more like a Vietnam map, uh, true to the, uh, the Vietnam law, as it were, where uh, the Vietnamese feel stronger. They feel like they have the upper hand, they have the land, they have, uh, they have some stuff set up already. Uh, it's more of a challenge for the US to actually get a foothold on the actual island area. Uh, so to an extent, I like it, but it still feels a bit bad. It still feels very Serima-esque. So it is going to go in the Serima tier. Dovra, a very underplayed map, Dovra. I don't see it very often. I'm not sure why, because I think it's one of the better maps in the game. Dovra is this one. There's also a winter version. Um, maybe if you're a hardcore asset abuser, you're not going to enjoy this map very much. There's a few APCs on certain layouts. There's the 50 cal car, I forget the name of, that you can aim from the inside. It can be fun to use. But you get really good infantry combat on this map, whichever way you go. And it's also a rare uh, opportunity to play as the uh, Netherlands. Where's the Norwegians? Netherlands? Norwegians? Red, white, blue, you get to play as the Netherlands. Okay, so it's a really good map to play as the Netherlands. Uh, there aren't many maps with the Netherlands faction, so it's nice to have one. Um, it's nice to have one, full stop. And this layout, I haven't seen very much. I don't think it's that good. Um, but playing for this flag, this flag, uh, anything over here is great. Even these flags can be fun. Um, it's just a, it's just a solid map. I don't think it's quite S tier, but I would almost certainly vote for it. Dover Winter is the same. It's just cold. Uh, Dragonfly. Now, Dragonfly is an interesting map because it is a classic. PR map. This map has been around since before I was born. Um, a quality map. But in recent months, maybe years, it's uh, it's not delivered quite quite as I um, as it once hit. It doesn't hit quite as once it once hit. It's like uh, it's like I used to eat craves as a kid, and craves were amazing. But if I had craves today, they're a bit sweet. They're a bit unrefined. They're just not quite what I'm looking for anymore. You know, Dragonfly is a lot like that. Dragonfly is um, very basic. There's one layout uh, and it's always Brits versus militia. It can be fun. The thing is, if you, the British team is bad, and oftentimes they are, they don't make it to any of these flags. And even if they are bad, they don't make it. They start getting killed like outside their main by the SPG and by the militia, just infantry. And then the infantry will just leave these flags and then just like two British guys can walk in and cap them one by one. It just seems like a really bad way to play the game. I just feel like the map doesn't lend itself to what modern project reality has become. There's no like walls on the bases. Uh, it's very easy to base camp uh, or just mine the exits. 
to main, you know, there's like two ways out of the militia main base. There's maybe two at most three ways out of the British main base. So easy to mine. Um, you know, it's okay. It's not great, not terrible. Uh, it's not quite Serema level bad. It's okay, I guess. But I probably wouldn't vote for it in a pinch, to be honest with you. Fallujah West, it's a 1K. It's a classic. It's not Insurgency. If it was Insurgency, this would be S tier, no question. Um, but this is the AES version. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the problem with Fallujah West AES is it depends on how many players you have. Uh, if you have 100 players on, you're playing Fallujah West AES. It's just, it's so messy. I wish they would make bigger walls on the Fallujah uh, main base. So the mech have this base. And I mean, it's the same on Insurgency. You can just sit on Mosque and you can just look right in. You can just shoot people. And the Dome of Death is so small, you can walk right up to the edge of their base and just gun them down, even if you're not shooting directly into main. Uh, which doesn't lend itself to quality gameplay, really. So it's okay. It's okay, and for that reason, it's gone in. It's okay. Uh, Fields of Kessel. Um, this is a lot like... Um, uh, not Bamian. This is a lot like... What was the map we did earlier? Ashburg. Fields of Kessel is a lot like Ashburg, in my opinion. Unless this is the World War II map. Oh no, this is the World War II one. Is there a version of this that isn't World War II? No. There is, right? I think there is. It's just not called Fields of Kessel. We'll come to it. There's another... This map has another version. And uh, uh, I've, This is World War II map. This version. Fields of Kessel Beta. Fields of Castle, excuse me. Castle. Um... It's a World War II map. Now, you know my stance on World War II maps. It is going to have to go in the World War II map category, unfortunately. Uh, but the larger version of this map probably isn't that bad. This infantry version is terrible. And this is the version I've played the most. Terrible. Terrible. This, when you're playing in this area, you get a frame rate of maybe 20. 20 at best. Um, if you're lucky. It's just, it's not it. It's not it at all. And it's just like, uh, there's this red building. Where is it? This red building, you hold this red building, you win the game. That's how you play. That's how you play this map. You run to this red building, you win the game. Uh, you don't get that red building, you lose the game. Um, whoa. <laughs> it's a World War II map. So we don't need to talk too much about it. It's a World War II map. It's in the World War II map. Bull's Road. It's another classic. Uh, very basic. It seems to have come from like the Dragonfly era. Um, I'm not necessarily going to vote for it. Let's have a quick look at it to remind people. Bulls Road. This is also in squad for any squad aficionados. They stole it from here, guys. Um, it's okay. It's okay. The sometimes fighting on this flag can be fun. Sometimes fighting on this flag can be fun. Um, but most of the time you're fighting like down here or up here, just in this random wooded areas that are not particularly interesting to play in, in my opinion. Um, and it's basically just a who can hide in a bush the best simulator. Also, this map, a lot like Dragonfly, the bases have a very small dome of death. Uh, the exits from main are very limited, so it's very easy to mine. Like, the Brits, I literally have one... Well, no, 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 they can go this way as well. But look, this is a piece of piss to mine. And they don't have any options this way. You could just mine here and every APC that leaves the main is dead. And then you just mine this road and everything around it. Anything that leaves this base is dead. This way, you've got to mine two roads. It's easy. Well, I've made, released a video, me and PV sitting here mining this exact spot. What do they do? <laughs> they don't know. They're going to just drive down here. What else? There's a little road you can go up here. Can technically go this way, I guess. But again, you can just mine up here. Uh, it's it's a bit basic. It's a bit old. It's a bit basic. Um, so it is going in the it's okay, I guess. Gaza, 1K. Honestly, I'd probably vote for it. I love Gaza. I think it's one of my favorite maps. I'm not going to put it in S tier because it's a 1K map and that just feels wrong. Um, but Gaza is a classic. It's old. 
it's withstood the test of time. Um, it's just a top tier map. It really is. I don't know how else to say it. In Insurgency, I'd say it's even better. But in AES, it's still a top tier map. You can still, like the combat between these buildings, the variety of buildings. There's buildings here that I still am only just discovering. This building I discovered recently, you can go inside. I had no idea. I had no idea. Um, wild. It is a shame that there's an entire half of the map that is just wasted as water. Um, but it, it is what it is, as the kids say. I didn't even know there was a road all the way down here. Can you actually drive on this road? <laughs> okay. It's a good map. It's a good map. Uh, you don't believe me? Play it. Yeah, it's a good map. Some people would get tired of Gaza. If you're an asset enthusiast, you might be like, this is the worst map ever. I'm telling you, Gaza is a good map. It's a, it's a classic PR. Uh, Goose Green AES. Interesting one. Rarely played. Uh, honestly, it's not that bad, to be honest with you. I think if this map wasn't, I mean, I get that it is um, Falklands, but if this map wasn't Falklands and it was just a normal faction versus a normal faction and you actually got scopes, this would be a really good map. And I don't know why, because there doesn't seem to be anything on it. The, the strategic, the, the, the flag placements seem pretty pointless. Uh, you know, like, we need to cap this one house. My mum used to live there. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, it'd be much more interesting if you were playing up here and you could use, like, boats or something. Like, if there was a... Well, imagine there was a flag right here in this butthole. Could you imagine? Cap the butthole. Cap the butthole! Um, but unfortunately, that's not the case. But you know what? It's not bad. Weirdly, it's not bad. And... Even though it's not the base game PR, it is okay, I guess. It's okay. I would almost vote for it. I wouldn't, but I'd almost vote for it. Hades Peak. Now this is a terrible, terrible map. Hades Peak. Ugh. Just look at it. It's complete filth, isn't it? It's completely disgusting filth. <laughs> this is what happens on Hades Peak, right? If you're in a vehicle... You drive up here and you die. Or you drive down here and you die. This base, I think, is... Usually this is the flag that's in play. This one is the one you're going to fight over. Um, and the US can get there so much faster than the Russians can. It's unbelievable. Uh, the only interesting place to play on this map is here in these... Um, uh, what are they called? This, this trench area. Really interesting area to play in. Definitely the best part of the map. Guys, if you're listening, is it, wait, is there a skirmish? Ugh. This is the skirmish map? Oh, I hate it. Guys. Guys. Make this the skirmish map. This is fantastic. Uh, but unfortunately, if you don't get the map layer that has this flag in it and the last three times i played this map i haven't got this map layer it's not worth playing you just walk around aimlessly you don't do anything um usually you'll lose like your chopper or something most teams seem to give up very fast on this map it feels like it just plays really badly uh and for that reason it is going in the serima tier of maps uh hill 488 i think this is a world war ii map i'm gonna have to remind myself Hill 488. No, it's a Vietnam map. Uh, what do I think of Hill 488? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm undecided. Sometimes I play this map and it's awful. I tell you what, this map feels very disorganized. It's a 1K map. It feels like you can just walk around and just kind of troll... And it's just a, a heavy bush map. It's just a camping bush map. Uh, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing to write home about. It's not quite okay. I think it's Surima. Icebound. I don't think I've even played Icebound. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I haven't played it. It looks it looks terrible. Let's just put it in World War II maps. It looks <laughs> completely terrible. Um, It looks like... Yamalia. 
an even more barren version of Yamalia, if you could imagine such a thing. Uh, okay, well, maybe it feels unfair I've ranked it in the World War II map section, but I've never played it, so what am I supposed to do? It looks terrible. Iron Ridge, another ancient PR map, uh, undergo, underwent a, re, a, um, a rework at some point, I think, um, which was good, needed, needed for sure. Iron Ridge is an AES map. It's also an insurgency map. Iron Ridge. Iron Ridge. There it is. Ah, it's okay. Does it, does it make it into the maps I would vote for? Mm. Mm. You know what? I've had some good games on Iron Ridge recently. Uh, I wish you could utilize this riverbed more. I don't know how, but I wish you could. And I wish the game spent more time fighting in this area because I feel like old Iron Ridge, you spend a lot of time fighting here. And most of the time when I play Iron Ridge, you're fighting here and here. And in this place especially, you're camping in this room uh, or this room and you're just staring at the doors waiting for the enemy to come in. That's how you play this flag. And if you don't play the flag like that, you lose the flag. And this flag is actually quite interesting to play on but you often just get gunned down by people you can't see up on this ridge line. But I think it's quite a good map, actually. I think it's quite a good map. Um, would I put it in a vote? Would I vote for it? It's okay. Ah, but it's more than okay. I'm going to vote for it. I'm voting for Iron Ridge. Kappa Halababa. Before anyone says anything, that is exactly how it's pronounced. Here we are. A relatively new map. One of the newer maps. Is this the newest map even? Hmm. I'm not confident enough to say this is the newest map, um, but it's definitely newer. <laughs> and there's an insurgency version of this as well, which I think is the insurgency version of this map feels completely unfair to, uh, to Blue 4. <laughs> it seems so unfair. Why your insurgent team can make tow missiles, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, like the, the Syrian rebels get a, a BMP and two tanks. But they are on AES. What do they get on uh, Insurgency? Yeah, they still get two B, uh, BMP and two tanks. It's just mad. And they can build tow missiles and uh, and they can't, they don't get scopes. The Russians don't get scopes. This speaks to another, I don't think the Russians get scopes on the AES layer either. Um, which I don't like. I just, I don't like, they, it used to be, right, for insurgency, it used to be that if you had a, an insurgent faction, they would have no scopes and the blue four would have scopes. The whole point being is that the blue four had limited tickets, um, but they had better gear and the op four had unlimited tickets, but worse gear. That is the whole premise of insurgency. And in these newer insurgency slash AS maps, they've just taken the scopes off the blue four and given both teams no scopes. And it doesn't make any sense because now you play in, if you play this map as insurgency and your blue four, you feel as disadvantaged as if you were playing on the op four, but you also have only a limited number of tickets. It's very, it's a very strange uh, decision, I think. And I think it's a shame that it's done on so many maps. Anyway, um, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the AES version. What do I think of it? I think that it's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, it's not S tier, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, playing a lot of this town area, it often feels like you're just getting shot from places you can't see. You can just get flanked by one guy and you can ruin your entire game. But I think most of the map is pretty fun to play on and you even have some assets on both teams to use um and what's interesting about the assets is this isn't one of those maps a lot of asset maps they'll have stuff happening in the middle and the assets will always drive to the edge of the map but this map there's not really much space at the edge so you kind of end up all being forced towards the action which i think is quite good uh so i'm going to put it in b would probably still vote for it it's not quite S tier, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, Kashan Desert. Kashan Desert. It's one of the older PR maps. Probably one of the first large, like, 4K vehicle maps. Um, it's pretty barren. 
as you can see. The game is often on this map quite... It's very predictable. It's very predictable. What usually happens is that one team will take this bunker, one team will take this bunker, um, and then you just camp in a bunker, staring at a... You know, some guy's got to cover the toilet, some guy's got to cover the top stairs, some guy covers the front door, and you just sit there for an hour and a half. Uh, or you go on this ridge as a sniper, or you take your tank and you drive up here, and their tanks drive here, and you have a little tank fight up here, or you have a tank fight down here. But it's all very split. Like the infantry are doing their thing, the tanks are doing their thing, the cast are fighting the cas. There's no, or there's a limited amount of coordination between assets and, and infantry. And if you're playing infantry, it often feels pretty boring and pretty garbage. Uh, and you definitely feel like you're just doing chores so that the asset players can have fun. <laughs> uh, and for that reason, it's going in the it's okay, I guess, because it's not bad. You can definitely have fun on this map, but it's very formulaic. It's very same old, same old. And uh, there are better uh, asset maps um, that give you a better split, I think, than this. For example, Ashburg. Uh, or, for example, Kamisia, which is the next map. And that is definitely how you pronounce it. Kami, 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 Kami. Here we go. Kamisia, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. See, told you. Uh, this is like Kashan 2.0 for me. This is a better version of Kashan. Um, there's still the same thing where you you have a load of bunkers that you end up camping in. But they seem more achievable to actually fight them and uh, take them on. And most of the time you're actually fighting for this flag. Uh, and this is quite fun to fight for, actually. Um, or you're fighting for this flag all the time, which again is quite fun. Or even this flag. Most of the flags are quite fun to fight for. Um, I'm going to burp. Most of the flags are quite fun to fight for. But... There is an element of kind of base camping that sometimes happens on this map. But by and large, this is a fun map. Uh, if you are unable to... So as the US, the strategy is always to rush this flag as fast as possible. And the mech should also be trying to rush this flag because this is the most important flag on the map. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. And there's even a tow Humvee on this map, a rare tow Humvee edition. You don't see that very often. Uh, it's a good map. It's a good map. It's definitely better than... than uh, Kashan, do I put it in S tier is the question because it's a good asset map I think it's definitely next to Ashberg it's the best asset map in the game um, and it's also good for infantry screw it, it's S tier it's S tier, I've done it, I can't go back uh, Call Match Offensive is this the one I was thinking about earlier that I thought was a World War 2 map yeah, okay so this is also the World War 2 map you see it's the same map um, as which one was it uh, Fields the Castle. Fields the Castle. Castle. Fields the Castle. This is Fields the Castle, but it's uh, not with World War II factions. Um, I haven't played a huge amount of it. I did a power drop before they broke the game. I mean, uh, patched it <laughs> uh, here, and it worked. Have I played the map that much? I haven't played the map that much, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure how it plays. Um, it looks like it could be fun. Wait, was this the one where I built a fob? Oh, this is the one where I rushed and built a fob here. We were Germans. Oh, yeah, there's Germans. You know what? This is a pretty good map. Uh, it's a lot like Ashberg, really. It's a lot like Ashberg. Less assets. Uh, it's not S tier, but I'm putting it up there. And before you say that, why did I put Fields of Castle as World War II map piss tier, uh, and I put Corbatch as one below S tier, and they're the same map, they're not the same map. It feels completely different when you play World War II versus um, when you play with normal factions. And also, this is the World War II map tier. It doesn't matter how good the World War II map is, it's going to end up in the piss tier because it's a World War II map. Moving on, Karengal Valley, AES. Uh, I don't know the last time I played Karengal Valley, AES. It sounds terrible. Um, ooh, yeah. Uh, no, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, I'm actually going to put it at Sarima, which I never thought I'd put Karengal in Sarima, but this, I, Karengal is an old map, and you can tell. When you play on this map, it feels old. 
uh, this these mountainsides. It's annoying because the way they've made them, they're not ins insurmountable. You can get up these hills, but the way the map is is done, like the the texturing of the ground or whatever, it's so difficult. It's so infuriating. It's like doing a Rubik's cube, but you don't know how to do a Rubik's cube. But you can see like the colors are slowly coming together on one side, but you don't know how it's happening or why. It's you just keep flipping it randomly, and you're slowly solving the cube, but you don't understand. And every time you think you've done one side, you've messed up another side completely, and you're like, it's like you're starting again. That's what it feels like climbing the sides of these these hills. Uh, it's not ideal. This flag is so painful to get to. But again, I've barely played this layout uh, as AES, but it's, it can't be good. <laughs> it just can't be good. I think this map is just a bit too old. The mapping on these hills is just so infuriating. Uh, you're just funneled into this tight corridor or to get gunned down from the hills and then you can't go and fight them. It's not ideal. You can see it's an insurgency map because there's all this these areas up here for... Uh, caches to spawn or up here for caches to spawn and in the AES version it's just unplayed it's like there's nothing there's no reason to go up here these are some of the most interesting parts of the map uh, so it's it's not good it's not good it's it's in Sarima level uh, Kazelsk Kazelsk is passable it's passable uh, it's definitely above Sarima is it something I'd ever vote for I might do I've had some good rounds on Kazelsk actually it's grown on me Kazelsk in like version 0 0.9 of the game, I thought was one of the worst maps. Um, but in recent years, it's kind of come back around for me. Um, this is actually a really, wait, is it this? Is it here? There's like a, I guess it's here. These are actually really interesting to play on. You don't see this kind of layout on a lot of maps in PR. There's this like these large structures. You don't see massive structures like this in PR most of the time. Um, like this is like actually down like into the earth. It's, it's segregated from the ground by going downwards, which is actually quite interesting. There are bunkers, but they're not your, well, I guess they are the standard bunkers actually. But they're laid out kind of interesting. There's a lot of verticality to this map, a lot of ups and downs. You can, it is traversable. It's not like, bloody um uh Karengel. uh i think did they get rid of no this must be it i think this is the bunker yeah, yeah yeah so there's a big like tunnel complex under this flag which i haven't played that much recently to be honest i've usually played this layout where it comes this way um it's a good map actually sometimes it feels a bit stacked would i vote for it honestly probably not but it is okay it's okay uh, Kunar Province. Now, this is the newest map added to the game. This, what a stinker. What a stinker, eh? Sorry whoever made this map, but um, it was an interesting idea. They tried a new um, game mode on this map called, there it is. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> they tried this game mode where the Taliban start with all the flags and the US have to cap them all. And once the US capped the flag, the Taliban can't recap the flag, which is an interesting idea, um, but it just doesn't work. I don't know why. It's just, it's impossible. The Taliban, it feels impossible to defend all the flags. And I feel like the idea should be, as the Taliban, that you're meant to hop to the flag, like defend the flag, and then when they the enemy take it, you hop to the next one, hop to the next one, hop to the next one. Um, but what really happens is that you die on a flag and then you can't get back to the next flag fast enough. The US have choppers. You don't. You just end up like getting stuck in the middle of nowhere, just walking randomly. Uh, people will see like a flag go neutral and they'll all start walking to that flag. By the time they get there, the flag's gone. It's, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. The, the Taliban need a way of getting around faster than, than the, the US can get around, in my opinion. Uh, the map doesn't need to be this big. Um, there needs to be more stuff in it. There's no, nothing in it. It's just hill and trees, and the hills are so painful to get to get around on. And there's nothing here. There's nothing, nothing anywhere. There's literally 
this crop circle. There's this. There's um, th this area to play in. That's it. Like, there's nothing here, man. Um, it's not. It's not good. Honestly, it's not good. And I think a lot of people suffer with frame rates on this map as well. Uh, it's honestly at Serima level. It's a Serima level map. Such a shame that they released this new map and it's just not very good. Uh, but how would I fix it? I don't know if it's even... You need to, to just put things in it. Like, it looks like it should be an asset map with the amount of stuff that's not in this map, but it isn't. Like, the US did get, like, a Humvee. Do they even get an APC? I think they get APC on one, one layout. They get, like, an A10 on one layout. Armored Humvee. I thought it was a light at large. Huh. Maybe they changed it. Oh, Striker, there it is. Yeah, they get one APC on one layer. They get a couple of jets. It looks like you should have six tanks, like eight Kiowas. I don't know. See, it, it, could, it could be interesting. I think if they turned it into a pure asset map, it could be good. Uh, but as it is right now, uh, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Uh, Messira? 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 Messiah. Me Messira. Why is this so dark? What's happened? Is this the same on all layers? They've burnt the parchment on this one. They've underexposed the picture from space. Well, whatever. So this dark version of uh, Masira is, you know what? It's quite good, actually. I think it's quite good. Sometimes if you're on a stack team, you just get pushed back to this flag and it feels awful. But a lot of games you get, if you're on the losing team, it feels awful. Uh, I've never played in this castle. Didn't even know that was a flag. Playing down here is fun. It's a cool part of the map. Um, playing here can also be quite fun. Uh, here I've never played really. Uh, this I've never played ever. If I even I don't think I've even been to this part of the map before. This is cool. It's a shame that this big interesting section of the map is completely unused. It's a shame that this entire top quarter is completely unused. Um, this is definitely the best part of the map. But sometimes you only need one good part of a map for it to be good. If this map had a whole other part of the map up here, like a whole second section of the map that was also playable to some extent. I would think this was an S tier map, but as it doesn't and half the map is wasted, I'd probably vote for it. Um, and it's above. It's okay. How many, I don't know how long we've been recording. I've been recording for 48 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm like halfway done. <laughs> I don't need a drink. Christ. Wow. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> this is going to be such a long video. Should I put this into two parts? No. Uh, Merville. Merville, I'm pretty sure, is a Vietnam, a, a World War II map. Is it not? Oh, it's not just any World War II map. It's the worst map in PR. This is it. You're looking at it. This is the worst map in Project Reality. Oh my god, it's awful. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Ah. Oh. God. No. Okay. So, the way this map plays is that the Germans basically defend this flag, is what they do for the entire game. Excuse me. The Germans defend this map, the, uh, this flag for the entire game. The US run in in endless waves of enemies on all sides, and they get gunned down by Germans sitting in trenches. I'm sure it's very realistic and true to life of how events would unfold, but oh my god, it's terrible. If you're playing as the US, you just feel like you're running into a meat grinder. If you're playing on the Germans, you have like a thousand tickets to burn through. And it feels like you're just sitting here wasting your life as you just and you just randomly will just like a, a US 
guy will be like, okay, I'm going to tactical through this bush and then I'll, I'll spread, go up here and then I'll, I'll spread up to this tree and I'll, I'll prone through here and, I'll just, and then I'll just get scope, bang, he's dead. And the German guy's just been standing over here and he's like, do, 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 do. is that a guy over there? No, I think, yeah, bang, I killed him. Okay. Anyway, back to just trolling over here. It's so pointless. There's like AA cannons somewhere over here or a couple of AA cannons which you just randomly shoot at this house every now and then. It's not good. It's not good. Um, so obviously, it's going in the World War II map section. Uh, but as a side, this is the worst map in PR. Um, Musako... Ah, Musakawala. Ah, Musakawala. Ah, uh, Musakala. Wow, a rare, a rare word that doesn't have a U after a Q. Any of you uh, Scrabble aficionados out there? That could be a huge score. Anyway, this is, is this an AES map? What is, what is, where are the flags? Huh? Uh... Huh. Apparently this is an AES map. I'm um, thinking about it. I've only ever played it in Insurgency. And it appears to be listed as AS, but there are no flags on the map. So it's probably not an AS map, and that's probably something that's just been documented wrong, maybe. Or, I, or I'm missing something. Uh, anyway, playing it as an Insurgency map, uh, it's pretty Serema, to be honest with you. Uh, the map is cool. Is it Serema? It's okay, I guess. No, it's Serema. It's Serema. Sorry, it's Serema. The map is cool, but if you're playing not as the insurgents, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. You it's you can't win. You can't. It's it's just too hard. The map is too imbalanced. It's a cool map. Uh, again, I don't know why they've wasted an entire section up here, but it's a cool map. Uh, but it feels impossible if you're playing blue four. Uh, Mutra, a classic. Maybe this is the first map in Project Reality Mutra. I don't know when it was added, um, but it's fairly early on. Mutra, I would used to put on, would probably still vote for it. But to be honest, they've ruined it. <laughs> they've ruined it. In the latest patch, they changed Mutra. Um, where is it? Mutra! M -m 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 Mutra! Am I blind? Mutra? Mutra, no! Oh, there it is. Uh, in the most recent patch, they changed Mutra. So it used to be that the mech would spawn with Logi trucks at the start of the game. And now the mech have a five minute delay on their Logi truck spawn. And so they only get the trans trucks. And this causes the mech to lose every single game of Mutra. Because here's what happens, right? People go, well, we don't have any Logi trucks. Most squad leaders will be like, well, I'll just wait in main for the Logi trucks to spawn the first five minutes. But the US get choppers still, and they don't have to wait five minutes. So the US play the game how they used to play. They fly a chopper straight to this T-shape. They probably fly a chopper to one of these if they're allowed, and they definitely put people in this T-shape. Meanwhile, the mech used to rush a Logi truck up to, like, here. Uh, and it used to be, like... The speed the, the trans chopper could get to this T-shape was the same speed as the logic truck could get to this T-shape. So you had enough to go over here, build a fob as the mech, and also have two more logic trucks to build like a fob here and probably a fob up here, maybe one back here. Um, but what happens now is that all of the mech squads just sit in main and wait for five minutes for logic to spawn. Meanwhile, the US put squads on every single flag. And then when the mech finally leave the main base with their logi trucks. They've already lost all the flags and they get destroyed when they meet the enemy on this flag and then they lose that one as well. And then you're just fighting for this final flag and you your team's already given up. Uh, it feels so bad. It feels so bad. Devs, if you're listening, please. I know I feel like I've just spent uh, an hour or whatever insulting your maps. You know I, you know I love your maps. Deep down. <laughs> Most of them. Can we can we change? I don't know why we changed the logi spawn thing. Can we change it back? Because Mutra is ruined right now. It's it's so much worse. Please, please give the logis back at the start of the game. I'm begging you. Please. Or 
or, or change the chopper spawns on US so they're also delayed. Because at the moment, it doesn't work, and I hate it. Uh, it's not Sarima. It's still okay, but I'm not voting for Mutra anymore. Nuijima, are you Nuijama? Nuijama? Bananas in pajamas? Uh, I've lost my place. Nuijama. Here we go. Which map is this? Huh? Oh, I know this map. Um, I don't get to play this map very much, to be honest with you. And when I do play it, it's nearly always the layout that goes up here. And I think this is the most boring part of the map. And this is the most interesting part of the map. Um, I don't get to play it very much. I don't have a lot to say on this one, to be honest with you. Is there a layer, a layer where you play as uh, as the Netherlands? Or is this French only? French Russia? Um, yeah. It's, it's very unremarkable, but I, I don't have necessarily anything bad to say about it. Uh, so I guess it's okay. I don't know if I'd vote for it. Maybe I would. You know what? I think I would vote for it. Based purely on the fact I don't play it very much. <laughs> and it's not terrible, and for no other reason. Definitely infantry and vehicles can work together on this map, and it can be fun. I feel like if you're taking an APC on this map, you are going to struggle. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of not open ground. There's a lot of having to get quite close to people and being killed by lack hits. Uh, Omar Beach. I've barely played it. It's a World War II map. Uh, probably people 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 will tell me that Omar Beach is the best World War II map. Um, I think it's very gimmicky. I think it's often just a complete meat grinder, which I know it's Omar Beach. It's meant to be a meat grinder, but it's just... It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Don't ask me to explain myself. It just doesn't work. Uh, Operation Barracuda. I'm going to try and speed up now. Operation Barracuda. Where are we? Where are we? Barracuda. Hey, Barracuda. An old map. Old map. Uh, I feel like it was briefly removed from the game and then they brought it back. Am I wrong? Am I wrong in thinking that? Maybe I am. Uh, Barracuda is... Oh no, they, it was a Vietnam map. Is there a layer where it's a Vietnam map? Or it is a Vietnam map? Is that Viet Cong? No. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's a layer where it's a Vietnam map, I think. And then it's China. It's two China, one Vietnam. China 2, Vietnam 1. Uh, what am I saying? I said I'd speed up. I'm just ch shit talking. Um, <laughs> I'm just chatting nonsense. Barracuda is interesting. It's interesting. It's, again, very different. It's one of these ones where the US don't have any footholds on the land. They have to exclusively fly in. Uh, a lot of the time, as the US, you get completely destroyed and you never make it onto the land. And it's very boring for the Chinese. Sometimes the US completely stomp and uh, the Chinese can barely leave their main. Um, it's rare to see an in-between. You're often fighting like down here or down here on the... Is there a version where you're down here? I think I'm losing my mind. Anyway, uh, it's okay. It's interesting. There's a good mix of trees and not trees. Uh, there's a good opportunity for Cass Huey, which you don't get on many maps. Um, but would I vote for it? No. Uh, it's okay. It's not Sarima. It's okay. Bobcat. Bobcat. Another map you do not see very often. Wait, that's Soul Rebel. I'm thinking of something else. Bobcat. Bobcat. I have to keep scrolling down and, and I'm losing myself. Bobcat. I'm burping. Oh, Bobcat. Okay, so first of all, Bobcat has an issue where your frame rate seems to die a lot on this map in random places. Um, a lot of the time when you're fighting against APCs, you just get gunned the fuck down wherever you go. <laughs> and there's very little cover. It feels like there's a lot of walking over pointless terrain. Um, but a lot of the flags, especially down here, fighting in these, this kind of area, this area is actually quite interesting. Even up here can be interesting. Um, I feel like this map requires a more coordinated set of teams to really work. I've never played here, ever. Uh, it is interesting, though, having islands and stuff like that. So for pure novelty and nothing else, I'm going to say it's okay. If it wasn't, if I played this map too much, it would drop into Serema territory for sure. Uh, Falcon. This is a good map. Operation Falcon. 
Uh, Falcon, 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 Falcon. Operation Falcon. Um, yeah, this is a good map. You, depending on the layout, you play a completely different version of this map, which I actually quite like, and both versions are quite good. If you're fighting down here, it can actually be really fun, especially if you're, like, the enemy will often have a line, like a fob down here, and they're shooting at you, and you're shooting back from over here. Uh, holding these bunkers can often be quite interesting. It doesn't feel like cash and bunkers. Uh, capping this flag can be fun. A rare H building. You don't see many H buildings these days. Um, and even fighting over here can be fun if you're coming down from this forest down into here. It's a, a different style of gameplay. There are the whole fight here, there's an actual underground element to this flag. Uh, fun. And even flying up here is fun. Is this an S tier map? I've got nothing bad to say about it. And you've even got infantry, you've got APCs. It's not a heavy asset map, but you do get some assets. You do get a tank on some layers. And you get to play the Netherlands? Okay, well, it's an S tier map, isn't it? There's, no, there's nothing else to say. It's an S tier map. Falcon, you've made it into the S tier list. And it's rarely, I don't see it that much. Ghost Train, uh, it's a tiny little map. It's very weird. Uh, there's a lot of fog. Uh, you're fighting over, like, one bridge. Uh, you just get killed by people you can't see. Um, yeah. Nah, it's not good. It's not good. It's it's Sarima. Marlin, S tier. Marlin is one of my favorite maps in the game. And frankly, I think it's uh, it's up there for, one of the, for the best map in the game. I think we'll decide the best map in the game at the end. Uh, let me just find Operation Marlin before I lose my mind. Operation Marlin is excellent. Whoever made this map, bravo. You've done it. Like, this is the pinnacle of map making, not just in, in PR. I think in all video games, all shooters, all milsims especially, this is the pinnacle of map making. This is some good shit, dude. Whoever made this, like, kudos. I don't know if you've just literally copied a place and there's somewhere in the world called Marlin, and it looks like this. Um, if you did, then, you know, don't tell me. Just let me believe that you came up with it yourself. Uh, it's such a cool map. Like, the infantry combat is great. There's such a variety of, like, buildings and road layouts. They've even got the, the what is this called? The helipad building. I forget the TV station. Got TV station here. There's this insane... Differences in verticality. You have crazy fights over here, crazy fights in here. You can even have interesting fights in here. Um, and obviously, up on this flag is a classic down here. Classic. Um, usually, by this point, if you're fighting for this flag, the game's over and your team has given up. Um, the only downside to this map is that often it's quite easy to camp the mech main, just to sit in these bushes and just mine their base and, and lap them from here. It's quite sad. Because I feel like it's a lot harder to camp the um, French main. Uh, but it's an S tier map. It's just too good. The vehicle and infantry combat combined are great. Um, part of me wishes there was a cast layout for this map. I think that'd be quite interesting. Like a Kiowa style cast layout, like light cast. Uh, anyway, it's S tier. It's already up there. Soul Rebel rarely gets played. A really weird one. A weird one. An island, water on all sides. A lot of the map is wasted. I wish they would add a few more islands that have flags on them and then have some like boat on boat warfare. There's no boat on boat warfare in this game and I wish there was because I think it could be really fun. Um, playing in this area, actually quite interesting. The undergrowth here seems very like designed, you know, for combat. A lot of maps that are just bushes and trees, it feels like they've just randomly placed a load of bushes and trees. This feels like they've designed a forest. Uh, and it feels different. It feels good. I've spent a whole game spawning at this flag and just fighting people on this ridge for like an hour. Um, and it's actually quite fun. And there's also a lot of cast and... Uh, it's an interesting cast, cast map, but full of trees and water, which you, I don't think you see anywhere, really, except for this map. Um, it's good. Would I vote for it? You know what? I might just vote for Soul Rebel, um, which I never thought I'd say, but I, it's never in votes. But I think I'd actually play it. I think it's a lot better than people think. I think it's a sleeper OP map. Uh, Op Thunder Beta. Again, another map that's in beta. 
Forever? Maybe? Question mark? Hop Thunder? It's a good map. This map gets played quite a lot. Uh, which is weird because it looks like there's nothing on this map. But for a map that looks like there's nothing on it, you seem to have quite good infantry combat and also vehicle combat. Um, it's very... I don't know. There's not much I can say about it. There's nothing I, that, pull, that I can point out and be like, this is shit about this map. And there's also nothing I can point out and be like, this is the best thing ever. Um, but I probably would vote for it. I would vote for it. It's just solid. It's a solid map. If you just want a decent game of PR and you know, you're taking assets or you're taking infantry, you can have a good time as both. Outpost. Have I even played this map? Oh, I have. I have. I have. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's this. Wow, we've entered dark mode. Unless you're on this side of the map. Don't go towards the dark. No! They can see it coming in. Stop! Uh, uh, Outpost. I haven't played that much of it. Most people who play this map say it's absolutely terrible. I've, I've heard most people hate this map. I think I've played it when it came out like two, three years ago or something and never played it again. <laughs> um... It's probably Serima level, to be honest. It looks like it should be quite good, but I just don't think it is. And I don't have the reasoning behind that, but it's going in Serima. Uh, Pavlosk. This is the map that looks like a rat or an alien or something. Uh, Pav, 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 Pavlosk, Pavlosk, Pavlovsk, Lovsk, Pavlovsk, Pavlovsk. Look, it looks like a, like a rat. I tell you, off. Route zero. I can't turn them both off. I can. And I can turn this off. Nice. Okay. What's it look like? Tell me in the comments. What is it? Is it one of those like angler fish from the deep with the little missing the like antenna thing? Is it like a rat pouncing at the, uh, the US aircraft carrier? Is it an alien from Alien vs. Predator? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. What is it? Anyway. Um, you can have fun on this map but a lot of the time if you're fighting through here it's actually quite amazing if you're fighting up here it's terrible <laughs> uh, honestly I don't usually vote for Pavlosk I feel like I've had more worse bad rounds than good rounds um, so it's okay it's okay it's okay Quan Seasonal now I'm a rare Quan enjoyer. I think a lot of people hate Quan with a passion. But I'm a rare Quan lover. A lover of Quan. Quan starts with a Q. Q is right there. Quan. Uh, interesting. You know what's interesting about this map? It has a wall that goes all the way across the map. Splits the map. Which means it focuses the fighting on these flags. Which I love what happens in pr and in a lot of uh mil sims in general is that these flags will be in play but there'll be six squads and they'll all be like one of them will be over here one of them's gonna be down here you got one up here you got like they're all trying to flank two flags behind the, the playable flag and i think it just ruins the game a lot of the time and it's so difficult because i can see the value in flanking and getting like fobs behind enemy lines and stuff but i think it just ruins the game a little bit. And I think being forced to play on the two middle flags is a cool idea. And there's no other maps that do this because uh, you just can't get past. There's no choppers. You can only drive or walk. There's no way past unless you're really committed to roping over. But even then, you can't get a lodger truck over. You have to drive through the middle. So you have to take these flags. Uh, interesting map. I like it. I actually like it. I quite like it. I've had some good rounds on this map. Uh, that, saying that, most people, I think, would disagree. Um, but I would probably vote for it. So it's going in the eye, I would probably vote for it. Category. Ramial. Ramial AAS. How long are we at now? One hour ten? Jesus Christ. Um, if I've cut this down a bit, you'll know, because it's not one hour ten in the timestamp. But for the record, just so you know, I've been recording for one hour and ten minutes. That's how many maps there are in this game. And this is just AES maps. Okay, Ramiel, AES. It's very weird, I've found. A lot of the time, you get stuck on the first flag as US. It's one of these flag, uh, these maps where 
The Op 4 start with all the flags, and the Blue 4 have to cap them one by one. You often get stuck on this flag. It's very difficult to take a lot of the time. Uh, they also don't utilize any of this part of the map, which is a shame. I feel like if this made more sense, you'd have like a flag here, like one first flag here, second flag here, and then your same layout as you've got. I feel like you should have a flag down here. This is a whole area of the map that's not used. But I like Ramiel. I like Ramiel as a map. Uh, and it's interesting that the Op4 get like spawn points in the mosques, which I think is quite interesting. Um, I think it works. I don't know if I'd vote for it. I think it's okay. It's okay. I don't know if I'd vote for it. Raz. Raz al Ghul. The famous trainer of Batman himself. Raz al Masri. Well, we're in dark mode again. Dark mode. Someone in the comments is going to tell me you just have to press a button and it comes out of dark mode. Um, if that's you, thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, there's a layout on this. There isn't. Oh, it's insurgency. Um, sometimes this map feels broken. Let me tell you why. The Chinese can fly from here to here. This is a fob. These walls are very difficult to get past. And it is in this cap area, which means as the Chinese, you can fly in here, build a fob, and hold the cap from an area that the enemy team cannot get in. It's nearly impossible. If you're defending this properly, it's so difficult to take them out. And even if you do get in there, take them out, you can just fly back easily. So it feels kind of broken a lot of the time. But if they're not uh, using that strat, it feels pretty good. I kind of like this map sometimes. It's kind of annoying. There's like a wall all the way around most of this city, which means you have to go in on one entrance or go all the way around, uh, which sometimes feels weird. But I like it. I like it. I think there's a good mix of infantry and vehicle. Um, would I vote for it? Sure. I'm going to vote for it. There we go. I'm voting for it. Uh, drink break. Am I going to run out of storage? I hope not. <laughs> uh, right world. This is a World War II map. Right world. Come on down to right world. I mean, right world. PR server? Are you dead? Internet? Are you dead? Not like this. Not like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I hate it. It's a World War II map. I hate it. Here's what happens. One of these teams caps all the flags. Usually it's the Germans cap all the flags. And then they sit along this line and shoot the US as they come out of Maine. Happens almost every time I play this map. And if it doesn't happen like that, then the Germans sit in this red house and they, and you can't kill them because this red house is broken and um, you lose that way. Either way, it's a meat grinder and it's a World War II map. So it's going in the World War II map category. Another burp, another drink, another burp. Route E106. We're getting close to the end now. E106, rarely played, honestly. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I've had some okay rounds. I've also had some terrible rounds. I've got, it's so mediocre. I've got nothing to say about it. Uh, I tried to do knife only on this map once. That was pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, it can be good. If you're playing it three, it can be good. A lot of the time, I feel like you just have no idea where you're getting shot from. You're constantly being flanked. Uh, there's, uh, it's impossible to cover all the angles. Um, the vehicles, I don't think have play a huge part in the overall play of the map. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I guess. There we go. It's okay. I guess. Sarima. Well, that's going straight in Sarima, isn't it? Uh, what needs to be said about Sarima? Sarima is a map I don't like that everyone else seems to like. I hate it. I've never had a good round on Sarima. There's so many trees. There's so much proning in a bush. It's just prone in a bush simulator. Uh, it's so bad. I just can't stand it, man. Like, the playable, the, all the playable flags, all are the same. You play for this flag, you're camping in a bush. This flag, you're camping in a bush. This flag, camping in a bush. This flag, camping in a bush. 
And this flag, you're camping in a bush. And even this flag, you're camping in a bush. Like, it's crazy. This flag, camping in a bush. Or, if you're crazy, you're in the actual fob. But you'd be mad to do that because you just get mortared into oblivion. Uh, so really, you're going to be camping in a bush. And the problem with camping in a bush gameplay is that you sit there. If you're the attacker, right? If you're the attacker, you move into the flag and you get killed randomly by things you couldn't possibly avoid. There's no counterplay. It's some dude you can't see who can see you very clearly proned in a bush. And it's a terrible way. It's, it's my biggest complaint with PR. There's no way to clear bushes. You can't like blow up the ground and the bushes go away. They're just permanently there, provide insane concealment, and, and you can shoot through them easily. I, I just... It's just terrible. It's just terrible. I'm sorry, it's terrible. And Sarima is one of the worst play in bush maps. Um, and it doesn't help that once you lose like one flag in Sarima, if your team like don't pull back fast enough, you lose all your flags. And the game's over. Um, and I don't think vehicles really play particularly well in this map either. Uh, that's my opinion. Most people will disagree. Uh, but it is what it is. It's in Sarima. Sahel. Sahel. Uh, it's unplayed. It's unplayed. I've played it twice. Uh, it's going to be Sarima category. It's barely played. It feels... Uh, it's, it's a nothing map, honestly. Um, it's not even worth talking about. Spam, spam, bam, bam, spam, bam, bam, spam, bam, 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 No, it's... Spam, it's... Spinner. Spinner. Gets played quite a lot, Spinner. Uh, I think it's better in Insurgency than AES. Uh, I have mixed feelings. Sometimes you can have a good time. Sometimes you're fighting over here and you just get killed by randoms in random houses that you couldn't possibly account for. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to say any more. If you're using an APC, it can be fun. If you're infantry, it can be fun. It's okay. Um, Shahadaha. The LOL map. The map that has laughing in the title. Shahada. Uh, oh, it's dark mode. Dark mode. Um, I've played this map a few times, actually. Uh, weird. 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 It's not quite Sarima. It's okay. The problem with this map is like a lot of PR maps. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's a 2K map, but you're using five centimeters of it. Like, <laughs> you know? And you can have a decent time uh, fighting infantry on these flags. If you're a vehicle user, you can have a terrible time. Um, I wish they utilized more of the map. But look at this. Never played there. Ever. Ever. Look at all these interesting rocks. Look at this river. All very interesting. You wouldn't play it, but it's all very interesting. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Shia Valley. Pretty old, this map. Is it good? Is it good? Sometimes I think Shia Valley is good, and sometimes I think it's terrible. Honestly, why is that though? Uh, sometimes playing on airport can be fun. Usually you're playing for this flag, or you're playing over here. This area can be pretty fun. Often I just walk around on on Shia, and I feel a bit clueless of what to do. Um. It kind of feels like capping flags feels like chores, not like you're really having a fun time playing the game. Um, vehicles can be fun. I think vehicles are definitely the best part of this map. Uh, and as far as vehicles go, it's a kind of a, it's a different theater of war to a lot of vehicle maps. It's like a green tree kind of map, but there aren't that many trees, but there are some trees. There's uh, this spooky ghost. Ooh. Uh, Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's mid. It's mid, but it's the old version of mid, which is just the middle, not not bad. Silent Eagle. Silent Eagle. Uh, it's another that's sheer again. It's another mediocre map for me. It's it's quite mediocre. There's not much going on. Uh, playing over here is boring as hell. Playing here can be fun. Playing here can be fun. Playing here can be fun. But if you've got the layout where you're just playing around this right-hand side, you're not doing anything. Unless you're in a tank, you, you ain't doing anything, man. You're just sitting here waiting for the round to end. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's not bad. If you're an asset player, it's not bad. In fact, you know what? 
Final Move it to would probably vote for it. I think you can have fun on this map as assets or infantry. It's slightly above okay, but it's on the lower end of I would vote for it. I would vote for it in a pinch, like maybe as a last resort. Tad say. What did she say? She said, Ugh. What happened? I haven't played this map in such a long time. Isn't this a, is this a night map? Was there a night version of this map? I swear there was. Uh, Tadsei is, it's Serima, really, isn't it? Just look at it. It's bloody Serima. It's Serima as it gets. It's just trees and nothing. And especially if it's a night map, this must be terrible on a night version. I remember playing this on the night version. I was like, I can't see anything. And there's 65 people camping in bushes. Yeah, no, it's Serima. The Falklands. The 8K map, the Falklands. I cannot stand this map. I think it is terrible. First of all, right? You got an 8K map. Why am I not using any of it? Can't I use this? Use this? Is it just an 8K map so you can fly Cass on it? I mean, yes, it is. I guess I get that we're just replicating the Falklands, but put a flag over here. Come on, please give me a reason. Like there's, there's a whole island that's been mapped. Oh, it's gone. There's a whole island that's been mapped. Ah! Well, you know what I mean. This just doesn't get used at all. You're fighting over this. And even this area feels massive. It feels huge doing this walking. It's crazy. If you're playing infantry on this map, just go home, man. Just uh, log out, close the game, come back in an hour and play the next map. Uh, is it as bad as World War II? No. And the only reason it's not a World War II map is because it has good CAS. If you're a CAS player, you obviously love the Falklands. Um, if you're not, you hate it. Ulyanovanovanovisk. Ulyanovanovanovanovisk. Ulyanovisk. Here it is. Uh, it's pretty good, honestly. It's pretty good. Uh, you can have fun on APC, you can have fun on infantry. This flag is fun to play. This flag is fun to play. This one's pretty good. This one's not great, honestly. This is good to play on. It's a fun map. There's a mix of trees, a mix of actual things. Um, there's flanking opportunities. There, it's kind of diverse. Uh, it's just a good map. It's just a good map. I would vote for it. I would 100% vote for it. Uh, Vanso City. Good map. It's grown on me. I would vote for it. When I first played Vadso, I was like, what is this garbage? But it's really grown on me. Again, there's a whole section of water, just half the map isn't used. Um, I, you never actually fight on this island. I've probably fought here once. Uh, you usually spend most of your time fighting here or here. But it's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, and there's a mix of stuff. You can take cast, you can take, you can take uh, armor. You've got the trans is really fun to play on this map. Flying the Chinook around is really fun. Infantry also fun. Um, it's just a good map. It's a good map all around. Uh, I've got nothing else to say about it. Wonder Shard. I actually, this map pains me, I think. Does it? Yeah, this map pains me a little bit. Uh, it can be fun. If you're in an APC or a tank, you can have a good time on this map. This is one of the more interesting APC slash tank maps. But if you're infantry, cap and flags feels like a chore. It feels like you're just you're just playing the game in the background so that your armor can have fun. Uh, <laughs> honestly, like other than playing in the uh, cock and balls here, what else do you do? Like you go stand on this flag and get shelled by a thousand APCs. You go stand on this flag, get shelled by a thousand APCs. Maybe you stand on this flag and get shelled by a thousand APCs. It just doesn't feel good, does it? Where, wherever you're going, it doesn't feel good. Um, yeah, it's above Serima, though. It's not as bad as Serima. You can still have a good time. It's okay. Uh, Zian Shan. Zian Shan. Is this map. Uh, it doesn't get played very much. Honestly, doesn't get played very much. I've played up here and actually had some interesting like fights around here. I think this is quite a good mortar map. Uh, this is a really good mortar map. There's not much cover. 
not many buildings. Uh, mortars can be quite impactful. If you're a dirty mortar abuser, uh, Bluffer, I'm looking at you. Uh, or Ash, I'm looking at you as well. Um, this is the map for you. This is a great mortar map. Uh, as infantry, you can have a good time, I guess. As vehicles, yeah, you can, it's okay. Um, it's mediocre. It's mediocre, isn't it? It's, it's okay. Is it okay? It's Sarima. Ah, Sarima. And Yamalia. Our fan favorite. No one's favorite. Yamalia. Look at it. Look at it. Ah. God. Who came up with this? It is better than... What was that other map? Icebound? It's better than Icebound. As you can see, it looks very similar, but there are actually some trenches over here. Wow. And uh, there's something else. Somewhere else. There's like a rock over here or something. No, there's a couple of emplacements there. Cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe as vehicles you could have fun on this map. Um, I Honestly, to be fair, I've had some fun as infantry playing like around this area. Uh, but I don't know. You can play it more than once a month. But you just hate yourself. It's so, it feels very basic and empty, barren. Uh, and it just feels devoid of meaning. Like the flags that you're capping, like why? Why am I trying to cap this bit of forest? Or this bit? Like capping these, uh, the, the these trenches? I get it. But capping this? Huh? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um... Is it Sarima? Is it okay, I guess? Nah, it's Sarima. It's Sarima, come on. Uh, that's it? Wow, I did it. Christ. There's a lot of AAS maps. <laughs> so there's the tier list, guys. There's the tier list. Should we do the best of the best? What have I got in S tier? Ashberg, Beirut, Burning Sands, Kami, Operation Falcon, Op Marlin. What is the s -est tier of the S tier maps? For me, it's going to be a toss-up between Ashberg or Marlin. So, um, I suppose it comes down to... It comes down to whether this is a tier list for me or a tier list for the PR community. I think... Or, you know, I think for all PR players, overall, Ashberg is going to be more favorable than Marlin. Because there's more to do. It's more asset map, but it's also an infantry map. Um, but if I'm doing it for me, then Marlin is my favorite map. I think Marlin is the best map, best map in the game. And Ashberg is a very close second. And then it would probably go Burning Sands, Kami, Beirut. Falcon. That's the order. Take it or leave it. Those are the S's of S tiers. Op Marlin, best map in the game. Prove me wrong. Um, this is your this has been your AAS map tier list. Top to bottom, all maps in Project Reality. Maybe this could be useful for someone. Next time, if you're new to PR and you see a map vote going up and you see three maps and you don't know what they are, take a look at the tier list. Take a look at the tier list and uh, and make a, a an informed decision. Stop voting for Carantan just because you've never seen it before. Please, don't vote for Melville, Me Melville, Melville, Melville. Don't vote for a World War II map just because you've never seen the map name in a in a in a vote. Please spare me. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah, if you like what you see and you somehow watched this much of the video, first of all, incredible work to you. Congratulations. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and do all those things. Let, honestly, let me know uh, your tier list. Uh, I have a Discord. It's probably going to be the easiest way to share. Uh, there'll be a link to the Discord in the description, but it will be the easiest way to share your own tier lists. Um, I made this tier list thing myself. If anyone would like me to do a tier list of something else, say a uh, weapons tier list or a insurgency maps tier list, perhaps, or a vehicles tier list, um, you know, feel free to to make a template and and send it my way. Um, I'd be happy to consider it and, and hopefully uh, do a few tier lists for you because I love doing tier lists because um, I could talk forever. 
Uh, cool. And other than that, I hope you're having a, a, a fantastic day or evening or whatever the hell you're doing. And I hope to see you on the battlefield in Operation Marlin, Ashburg, Burning Sands, Cami, Beirut, or Operation Falcon. Goodbye. <laughs>